In this session, we will explore all the aspects associated with preparation of nursery beds. Let's start with the basic understanding of a nursery. So what is a nursery? A nursery is a place where plants are propagated and grown to a usable size. They include retail nurseries which are sold to the general public, wholesale nurseries which are sold only to businesses such as other nurseries and to commercial gardeners. But why do we need a nursery? Some vegetables require special cares during their early growth period. There are some vegetables with very small size seeds. These are first sown in the nursery for better care and to come back with the time for field preparation and after about one month of seed sowing, they are transplanted in the main field. There are many vegetables which require special care. I will list out only few vegetables here which are Tomato, brinjal, chilies, capsicum, cauliflower, Chinese cabbage, cabbage, celery, etc. Now, what is a nursery bed? It is a prepared area in a nursery where seed is sown or into which transplants or cuttings are put. A nursery bed is a specially prepared portion of land where put aside for raising seedlings. Seeds which need extra care should be grown is in a nursery. It acts as a temporary home for young plants until they are eventually planted in a permanent garden. Nursery beds are classified into seedling beds and transplant beds. And depending on the nature of lands, they can be categorized as flat beds and raised beds. Moving further, we will discuss in detail flat and raised beds. Now before we discuss flat and raised nursery beds, let us understand how raising seedlings and transplants on nursery beds prove beneficial. Let's have a look at advantages of nursery beds. It is very convenient to look after the tender seedlings if we grow seedlings in a nursery bed. It is easy to protect the seedlings from pests and diseases. Economy of land usage can be maintained. Valuable and very use small seeds can be raised effectively without any wastage. Uniform crop stand in the main field can be maintained by selecting healthy, uniform and vigorous seedlings in the nursery. Now let's see what all important aspects constitute to prepare a nursery. The nursery area should be nearer to the water source. Generally the location should be partially shaded that is under the trees if not artificial shade is provided. It should be well protected from animals. Proper drainage facilities should be provided. The seed bed should be 90 cm wide, 30 cm high from the ground level and 540 cm length is sufficient for raising 15 grams seed. But for one acre, four beds will be required for raising seedlings in one acre. And the last point to be kept in mind while preparing a nursery bed is soil selection. A medium textured loam or sand loam soil is preferred. Soil should be rich in organic matter and soil depth should be preferably 15 to 25 centimeter. Now as stated earlier, types of nursery beds, let us understand in detail flat and raised nursery beds. Flat nursery beds are generally made in normal rainfalls. These beds are easily irrigated by water can. The surface of nursery bed should be perfectly flat or should have slight chamber. In order to provide good drainage in the bed, surface dressing should be given. For raised nursery beds, selected soil should be worked well to break the clods. Weeds, stones and stubbles should be removed. Height of the raised bed should be at least 10 to 15 cm with a width of 1 meter and length may be according to the requirement and conveniences. Two parts of fine red earth, one part of sand and one part of well decomposed farmyard manure can be incorporated to each bed to improve aeration and fertility of the soil. Before preparing the bed, the soil should be drenched with 4% of formaldehyde or 0.3% copper oxychloride to kill the pathogenic spores in the soil. The beds are raised 15 to 20 cm high from the ground level. A space of 30 to 40 cm is left in between two beds. The space between the two beds helps in weeding. 
nursery care against diseases and insect pests and also for draining out excess rain water from nursery beds. The number of beds depends on the particular crop season and growing area of crop. The beds should be prepared in the east and west direction and line should be made from north to south direction on the bed. Now let's have a look at advantages of nursery bed. Water movement will be uniform and drainage of excess water is possible. Germination percentage of seeds is normally high in case of raised nursery beds. Operations like weeding and plant protection can be measured easily. Now let's study in detail the preparation of raised nursery bed for chili cultivation. To prepare the nursery bed, first clean the surface area of the ground before plowing. Remove clods of earth and stubble. Then plow the field two times with desi plow before seed bed preparation. Prepare four raised beds with bed size of 318, 1 feet for seed sowing. Then broadcast 15 grams seed per bed. Add furidin 3G on top of the bed to protect the seed from ants and termites. After adding farmyard manure or vermi compost, level the top layer of the seed bed manually. Then drench the bed with bevestine, which is a fungicide. At the rate of 15 to 20 grams in 10 liter of water per bed to protect the top soil of the bed from any fungal infection. Now leave the bed for 30 minutes for drying before seed sowing. Before seed sowing, make a line over the seed bed by using middle finger or wooden stick at 4 cm apart with a depth of 1 cm. Then start sowing at 2 cm apart from seed to seed for proper development of each seedling. After seed sowing, cover the top layer of the seed bed by broadcasting fine soil or vermi compost at the rate of 4 kg per bed so that during water during watering seed will not come out from the lines. Then cover the seed bed with dry paddy straw at the rate of 10 kg per bed with a height of 5 cm. Then irrigate the seed bed by using rose cane every day in the evening time at the rate of 20 liter water per day but during rainy season it depends on availability of soil moisture in the soil. Chili seeds need minimum 7 to 9 days to germinate so just after seed germination remove the straw over the seed bed and cover the entire seed bed with mosquito net for 30 days minimum to protect the seedlings from sucking pests such as white fly, jacids and aphids etc. Cover the seed beds with polythene sheet or bamboos netting frame with a height of 3 to 4 feet from the ground level to protect the seedlings from excess water during rain. After 3 days of seed germination drench the seed bed with ridomil at the rate 15 to 20 grams in 10 liter of water per bed to protect the seedlings from damping of disease. This was all about how to prepare a nursery bed. In the next session we will study techniques of seed production of important vegetable crops. Keep in mind precautions to be followed while preparing the nursery bed for chilies. Damping off might occur due to over irrigation so irrigate the seed bed when necessary. Use rose cane for irrigation over the mosquito net without removing the nursery net till the seedlings are ready for transplanting. Just one day before transplanting, spray pesticide amount of which is 0.5 ml per liter of water by using spray machine to protect the seedlings from any pest attack at main field after transplanting for 7 to 10 days. Chili seedlings should be transplanted within 20 to 25 days in the main field to get best results. This was all about aspects associated with preparation of nursery bed. In the next session we will study techniques of seed production of important vegetable crops. Thank you.